Nigeria's capital importation declined by 22.85% in the second quarter of 2024 to $2.6 billion from $3.37 billion recorded in the first quarter of the year. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics MBS on capital importation, however, showed that Nigeria's capital importation rose by 152.8% from $1.03 billion when compared to the same period of last year. On capital imports, portfolio investment led with $1.4 billion, followed by other investments at $1.169 billion. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has again reiterated its unwavering commitment to ensuring the stability, safety and soundness of Nigeria's financial system. Following growing concerns over the global economic environment and the potential risk faced by the banking sector, the CBN assured the public that depositors' funds are secure, emphasizing its proactive measures to maintain financial stability. Acting Director of Corporate Communications of the bank, Hakam Sidi Ali, who stated this in a statement, will affirm the critical importance of maintaining public confidence in Nigerian's banking system. The first set of Nigerian skilled workers to be exported through the National Talent Export Program, NATEP, are headed for the Gulf nation of Kuwait. Permanent Secretary to the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Ambassador Nura Abbarimi, in a message to the trainees, said the National Talent Export Program is timely and strategic due to its focus on boosting jobs and income. Export talent has come to stay because it is reliable, it is acceptable, it is very dependable, it is implementable as we are doing now, and also it's also sustainable. So we want to package Nigeria and you know use us um, I mean use our talent pool as an opportunity to transform our economy. The Securities and Exchange Commission says it will enforce regulations in the financial technology fintech ecosystem to curb mismanagement of funds and align operators with existing rules. Director General of Emomo Timiagama, who spoke at the Nigeria Fintech Week, said a regulatory environment that is conducive for the innovative use of technology is essential in the drive to transform Nigeria. He added that it is time for fintech operators to be held to the rules of the capital market when it comes to fundraising.